<clears throat> so now I'm approaching the interesting question of at some point the red is going to be the same value as one of my grays or close, right? So is it this one? It's really hard to tell when it's a strong, strong color like that. It's really hard to tell. So what I'm going to do and what I advise you to do is to gray it down a little bit. So I'm just using a little bit of my leftover gray, which dirties it up a little bit and makes it easier for me to see. It's just easier. Okay, that one looks dark. I'll just lighten it a little bit and lay it down again. There. When they're the same value, your eye kind of moves smoothly right across them. I think I have a little bit of glare on my camera, but let me hold this up closer. So this is extremely useful in paintings because you can have a simple value pattern, but you can divide value from itself with color and get a strong painting that still works in a simple sense and reads well, but has more interesting stuff going on because it has color. Pretty good. All right, now I need to make my darkest red possible. Now, reddish orange color just kind of keeps in line with this. I have my leftover darkest neutral so I'm just gonna add that to it and so it's like a redder version of my darkest neutral is it gonna be as dark as my darkest neutral really no because the cadmium red light is lighter than my darkest neutral but I'm okay with that see that interval and that interval pretty good Pretty good. So that is one column of color where we've gone to the trouble to make sure each color corresponds with the value. So you can see that what's dominant here isn't the color, it's the value. Even though we're mixing a color, the value of it is more important than the color. <clears throat> 